inclusion means specifically here is that we involve all the children whether they have um, additional needs or whatever it could be whether it's deathless uh, sub maybe some physical um, learning difficulties and that we adjust the curriculum to meet their needs good morning Sarah Jeffrey works at Icknell Primary School in Luton. She's been teaching in mainstream primary schools for eight years. Profoundly deaf herself, she took a certificate of education for teaching the deaf at nearby University of Hertfordshire. Now she's teaching in the deaf unit at Icknell, one of the largest providers in the country for deaf children within a mainstream school. Some of the children whose needs are not being met, they come to me for literacy and maths only. Well, well, good. Michael, for example, has only just recently arrived to this country, and so he's still picking up English and learning to sign. But he's actually quite clever. Who do you think wrote the book? Maya, she's very good at speech, good understanding. She just needs more encouragement to use her voice and to try. Very good. Thomas, he's learning is very different from the other children and he needs a lot more support, a lot more help. That's right. Why do they have numbers? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Salah is working at a similar level to Thomas and he needs lots of repetition going over and over. Judy Hort is the Disabled Students Coordinator at the University of Hertfordshire. There's an enormous advantage uh, for newly qualified teachers who've got any sort of difficulty, be it um, a, a learning difficulty, a, a visual impairment, a hearing impairment, for them going into the mainstream class. I think mostly because they have huge empathy for the children to understand from the inside what helps, what it's like to have those difficulties. I think that understanding is probably the greatest um, additional help that they can offer. Oh, good boy. That's when England won. England won. 1966. Oh, you clever uh -huh. boy. I'm able to bring lots of my own, own things from my personal experience to the children. I understand what it's like to grow up being alone. I understand what it's like to find things hard to understand and just keep going over and over. I don't understand. I don't get it. I know what it's like to feel frustrated and angry and not being able to communicate to make yourself understood. And I, I feel that that makes me someone that, that they can talk to. What page can I find? Teams. Good. Watch. OK, have a look. Teams to watch. I, I think... The advantage to parents is enormous. To meet a successful adult who has been supported, worked through the difficulties that their child has, I think for one thing it is hugely encouraging. If you know that the professional looking after your child knows exactly what your child's going through, the comfort and support that that would give a parent is just enormous. What happened? There were lots of... Lots of bombs. Yeah, yeah, bombs. Yes, airplanes dropping bombs. Sarah believes that she offers far more than support to those with special educational needs. Her presence in a mainstream school makes more children aware of disabilities and learning difficulties. Make them realise they had to think about my needs within the classroom. For example, if a person came in to the classroom to talk to me, they had to be quiet. It's great because it shows the children that you can achieve. Look at these role models, look at these people that work here. Teams, what page? Boys? 26, good girl. This, this, this is it, this is the... When, when you see them understand, it's like, oh, yes, but you see that light go up in their eyes and you know that they've understood and you cracked it. It's just, wow, there is no other word to describe it. It just gives you such a feeling inside. Mm -hmm.